welcome to Lala Nutrition. My name is Michelle Lal and I'm a holistic nutritionist. And so this week I wanted to share with you um, a simple, uh, my simple morning routine. Um, last week uh, my family and I went to New York um, and it's not such a long flight uh, from Toronto but um, I posted on Instagram sort of my morning routine. So no matter if I'm home or if I'm traveling, I try to really um, maintain these steps. And when I say try, I actually do it. I, I don't believe there's a day I actually skip out on doing this because it's very simple to do. So essentially when I'm traveling or when I'm at home, the first thing I do when I wake up, um, of course, is uh, <laughs> once I take care of my son, is I make sure to hydrate myself. So. Um, I have these jars at home. They're probably from soup or they're just mason jars. They're about a liter. And I have around a liter of sort of warmish uh, water at home. Um, so try to get the best quality water that you can. If you have a Brita filter, I have uh, reverse osmosis, so I add a little bit of sea salt to that. And the reason that we're trying to hydrate first thing in the morning, I know people wake up and they think they're hungry, but they're really probably thirsty because you've gone through the night, you've, you've fasted for so long that your body is now dehydrated. So you want to really hydrate your body. Um, and obviously water is the main thing. Without water we won't survive, even more so than food. So you want to make sure you're hydrating your body, um, kind of go through that false hunger and as you're drinking water, if you're drinking water and you get a hunger pang and then you get another, then you're probably actually hungry and then I would suggest um, eating. But let's just stick to hydrating. So we're hydrating because overnight our body has gone through, um, you know, taking care of our body and has produced metabolic waste which are quite acidic and it needs to get out of the body. So we need to hydrate to flush our system. Um, and so that's really the main reason we want, we need to be hydrated to feel energized and it's probably why people reach for coffee and reach for things to energize them. They're not hydrating their body first thing in the morning. So I challenge you to try that for seven days and see how you feel. So the next thing I would do after hydrating your body would be to then um, have a glass with lemon water. So maybe you have just one glass of water, then you have another glass, warm water, with lemon. Not hot because you don't want to kill the natural enzymes occurring in the lemon. So the lemon water, um, or you could even put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, the raw organic apple cider vinegar um, that's not pasteurized. Um, and basically you're doing this to kind of give your body a little bit of a detox. So lemon is really great, kick up your digestion, it's going to help cleanse the body in the sense it has lots of vitamin C, it's going to flush out your bowels, so it's going to trigger your bowels to kind of release, so that's really great. Um, it also has a lot of enzymes that are naturally occurring that are similar to the enzymes in the liver. So you're giving the liver a little bit of help with these, um, you know, rebooting it with these enzymes. And our liver is our main detoxifying organ. And so to help it just do its job a little bit better is really uh, important. Um, also, lemons contain a, an alkaline ash when they're digested. They seem citrus and acidic, but when they actually digest in the body, they are alkaline. And this just helps to rebalance the pH of our whole system. Um, because our body overall, if you took the pH of all the organs, it's a little bit more alkaline. And our blood is slightly alkaline. So we're, when we need to put in these alkalinizing minerals, especially um, you know, if we're eating acidic foods or, or we're having acidic byproducts through our metabolism. And the third thing I'm going to talk about in my morning, so once the main thing is making sure to hydrate. So even without your lemon water, making sure you get enough water in your system. The lemon water is really great just to start off your system, cleansing it, and just, you know, refreshing your body after it's been fasting overnight. Um, I would say add something green in. So this is also alkalinizing. And, you know, I would say... This is just sort of a supplement when I'm traveling, I use this greens powder, but let's go back to hunger for a second. You wanna make sure you're truly hungry. So after you drink water, maybe you drink a couple of glasses and you're still getting a hunger pang, that means you're actually hungry. Don't take the first signal of hunger as actual hunger. Wait, what, you know, try one or two more times just to see if it's true hunger. And this is how you start learning about your body. 
Our bodies are so smart. They're so intuitive. They're such a complex biomechanical, you know, biological machine that, you know, it knows when it's hungry. It knows how many calories you ate yesterday um, to know when it actually needs more food. So we don't want to start putting food on in our system when it's not ready to accept it. So I really suggest waiting till you're truly hungry to have your first meal. I know out a lot of people say have your first meal as soon as you wake up, or you know we need to kick start, start our metabolism. But let's just get back to our body and intuitively know when it's ready to accept food and really to. Um, take care of ourselves and nourish ourselves and not follow something outside of us just really coming in tune with ourselves so then after that once you're ready to you're truly hungry you're ready to eat um, when you're when I'm traveling I have this greens powder so I just mix it with some water and you know I don't always have a green smoothie when I'm traveling in New York there's tons of like smoothie places and you know you can grab a smoothie um, so I still had this while I was away, even though I was able to get a smoothie, but I would have this, wait maybe 15 minutes after, and then have some fruit. Um, but if you're at home and you can make yourself like a really great smoothie um, with fruits and veggies, then I would suggest doing that. You don't necessarily need this. And then, um, you know, also having a probiotic with your smoothie. This contains greens and probiotics, and probiotics are so amazing for traveling and obviously everyday use, but this has 25 billion. So when you're traveling, you know, your immune system might be compromised a little bit. Having, um, having probiotics is um, amazing just to make sure your digestion is working, make sure, you know, your, your immune system's functioning, and it's just overall really great for for bowel movements and just the overall health of your body. So whether you're a traveler or not, make sure you get uh, a probiotic in. This happens to have the greens and the probiotics. And this powder is really great. Um, it has you know things to aid with your digestion, your circulation, your immunity. Um, it has greens powders, so dried um, greens juices in it. It has chlorella. Um, it has different herbs. Um, obviously the probiotics. So it's got a huge list of um, ingredients in it and it's all whole foods so which makes it really really great so when you're traveling I would suggest you know making sure whether it's you're at home or not make sure to hydrate your body first thing in the morning have something with lemon or apple cider vinegar to alkalinize your body and then have something green when you're truly hungry so a greens powder or a green smoothie would be great so hopefully these tips have helped you for when you're traveling or when you're at home so be sure to like comment and subscribe below and i look forward to sharing more information and thanks for stopping by alone nutrition have a great day